What is going on y'all? My name is Gravely and in today's video we are going to be going over the top 10 best special weapons inside of Destiny 2 PvP. Now of course this is a follow up to my top 10 best primary video which you guys showed a ton of support to. I will put the link to that video in the description below. Now real quick, there are a few things that I want to say before we actually go into this video. The first thing is, Sunset Weapons will not be included in this list, mainly because you cannot use those weapons in modes like Trials or the Iron Banner. Also, we are looking at these weapons in the hands of an average player, so if a weapon is really good, but it's not really easy to use, chances are it probably did not make this list. And just because a certain weapon does not make the list, doesn't necessarily mean that that weapon is bad. For all you know, it could literally be just outside of the top 10. Anyways, let's get into this video. Coming in at the number 10 spot, we have the Lord of Wolves. Now I know it isn't Forsaken anymore, but to this day, the Lord of Wolves remains one of the best shotguns in this game. It has about a 10 meter one shot kill distance with a blistering fast 640 RPM fire rate, which means you don't really get punished for using the Lord of Wolves. If you miss your first shot, it's not a big deal. Since you have that fast fire rate, you can follow up with another one immediately. Whereas if you are using a Felwinters, you only have a 55 RPM fire rate and you have to painfully wait to shoot another shot. Now the one downside to the Lord of Wolves that is keeping me from ranking it any higher on this list is due to the fact that it shoots a burst, which means you do have to kind of wait for a little bit and you have to play a little bit differently than a regular shotgun since you aren't firing one instant shot. Moving on to the number 9 spot, we have the Wither Horde. Now I know that the Wither Horde is extremely annoying and infuriating to play against, but that doesn't take away from the fact that it is a very good weapon inside of PvP. In quick play, it is a bunch of fun to use and can get you a lot of kills, and in competitive game modes like Trials, you can absolutely shut down areas of the map just by shooting it on the ground, or you can shoot it on top of a res, which makes it so the other team can't even go for that res at all, otherwise they are going to die pretty much instantly. I really don't have much else to say about the Wither Horde, but its unique ability to control territories of the map makes it an extremely good choice inside of PvP. Coming in at the number 8 spot, we have the Adored. Now I know a lot of people who absolutely love the Adored and won't use any other sniper. As for me, I don't really like the Adored that much, but I recognize that it is a very good sniper, and when it comes down to sniping, it is really just about the feel of the sniper. If you like the feel of a sniper, maybe that's the sniper for you. If you don't, maybe you're going to use a different sniper. That's just kind of how it is. But the reason that I ranked Adored a little bit lower than some of the other snipers on this list is mainly because it has a much lower zoom than other snipers, which means you have to be more precise with it, whereas something like a Frozen Orbit or an Eye of Soul, you don't have to be as precise because that zoom is not as low. But once again, it really does depend on how the sniper feels in your hands. Some people love certain snipers, some people don't. It is what it is. Moving on to the number 7 spot, we have the Frozen Orbit. Now the main reason I ranked the Frozen Orbit over the Adored is once again that zoom factor on the Frozen Orbit is higher, which means it is going to have more bullet magnetism and it is easier to use. Now in this gameplay that you guys are seeing right now, this was actually my first time ever actually using the Frozen Orbit. And it was just absolutely insane. It's a crazy sniper. This was a ambitious assassin snapshot roll. I'm sure if you have a god roll, it'll be absolutely insane. But I really like the feel of the Frozen Orbit. Once again, it's really hard to like give snipers an accurate rating because it really does depend on how the sniper feels in your hands. But honestly, if you choose to go with any of these snipers that you see on this list, you will probably do just fine as they are all absolutely S tier. Coming in at the number 6 spot, we have the Trials of Osiris Sniper Rifle, the Eye of Soul. Now what does kind of suck about the Eye of Soul is that you can no longer get the perfect god roll of snapshot opening shot since Bungie decided to bring it back with a slightly different perk pool and snapshot and opening shot are now in the same column. But still, even if you don't have the role of snapshot opening shot, the Eye of Soul is still an absolute beast of a sniper, and personally, I do feel like it is the best sniper in this game, and that is why I ranked it as the highest sniper on this list. 
Moving on to the number five spot, we have a weapon that probably isn't going to make you any friends, but it is still an extremely good weapon. This is going to be the Bastion. Now, a lot of people hate the Bastion. But the Bastion is an absolutely insane weapon. The way it's able to absolutely decimate barricades and kill multiple enemies with one burst is really unmatched by any other weapon in this game. And on top of that, it is the only kinetic fusion rifle in the game, which means you can pair energy weapons like the igneous hammer with it. And it really doesn't take very much skill to use the bastion. Obviously, if you get your pre-charging down, you can be a little bit better with it, but overall, it is a relatively easy gun to use. Coming in at the number 4 spot, we have the Chaperone. Now the range on the Chaperone is absolutely ridiculous, it can get a one shot kill from about 12 meters away, and with Roadborne proc, I believe it is about 14 meters, it is just absolutely crazy, you might as well call this thing a sniper rifle. When you have the Roadborne perk proc, it really does feel like you are absolutely unstoppable, the Chaperone is just that good. And obviously, the reason that the Chaperone is not ranking any higher on this list is because to be extremely good with the Chaperone, you do need to get quite a bit of practice with it, and obviously, it does not have the ability to slot in an Icarus mod. But overall, in the hands of a skilled player, the Chaperone is extremely scary to play against. Moving on to the number 3 spot, we have the Trials of Osiris shotgun, the Astral Horizon. Now the Astral Horizon is an aggressive frame shotgun, which means it is in the best archetype, and it can roll with things like surplus and opening shot, so it is basically like a kinetic Felwinters. Obviously it isn't as good, but it is the best shotgun in that kinetic slot if you aren't good with something like a Chaperone. Personally, I really have never liked the Astral Horizon myself, but this list isn't about what I like, it's just about what is good. And Astral is, by far, the best spread shotgun in the kinetic slot. Coming in at the number 2 spot, we have the Vault of Glass shotgun, the Found Verdict. Now the Found Verdict is a very interesting weapon, because with a perfect god roll, you can definitely argue that it is actually better than the Felwinter's Lie, since it does have that extremely long barrel, and even though this sounds really stupid, the longer the barrel on a weapon, the more range it actually has. I know that sounds like the dumbest thing in the world, but it is actually true. Personally, I do not have a perfect god roll of the Found Verdict, but I do have one that is literally just one perk off, and I feel like it is so neck and neck with the Felwinters, it is actually very hard to tell which shotgun is better. And in all honesty, the only reason that the Found Verdict ranked lower than the Felwinters Lie is because the Felwinters does come with a god roll pre-built in, whereas with the Found Verdict, you do have to get pretty lucky with that god roll. Now, if you do have that perfect god roll of full choke, assault mag, surplus, and opening shot on the found verdict, I would say that it is still better than the Felwinter's Lie. And coming in at the number one spot, this is literally no surprise to anybody watching this video, the Felwinter's Lie is still the best special weapon inside of PvP. If you guys look at Trials Report every week, it always has the most kills by a lot, and it's just an extremely good shotgun. There really isn't much else I can say about it. If you don't have the Felwinters, you should probably pick that up from the kiosk ASAP because it's by far the most overpowered weapon in this game. And it's honestly crazy to think that it almost did not get the number one spot on this list just because of how good the Found Verdict is. But once again, it was saved by the fact that it does come with a pre-built God Rule. And to be completely honest with you guys, I really don't think that the Felwinters is going to get dethroned anytime soon, unless Bungie makes some major changes to the opening shot perk. Anyways, that is pretty much going to be the end of this video. If you guys did enjoy it, I would greatly appreciate it if you left a like and a comment letting me know what you thought. And if you disagreed with anything in this video, please let me know in the comments below. It is always pretty interesting to see other people's viewpoints. Also, if you do have any video suggestions or ideas that you would like me to do, please leave those in the comments below. I do read pretty much every comment on my videos. But as always, if you really enjoyed this video, I would greatly appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. Anyways, it's been Gravely. Peace.